What's up everybody? It's good to be back. I've just gotten back from Europe. I was at the Munich high-end show and it was absolutely incredible. So we're gonna do a two-part video on Munich High-End. The first is gonna be just about the room that I was working in, which was with Constellation. Second part is gonna be an overview of all the gear that I saw there outside of what was in that room. So stick with us for a couple weeks. Right now, we're gonna be talking all about the Constellation Room at Munich High End. So first of all, let me thank all the wonderful people at Constellation Audio for allowing me to join them, helping them set up the room. It was amazing. It's an, it is truly an amazing experience. Especially wanna thank Irv Gross for putting up with me for a week. That was a ton of fun. Thank you so much. It was really, really special this year getting to be a part of the Constellation Room, primarily because for the first time in a while, they debuted some new gear. And basically what they've done is revamped their line. So now you have Inspiration Series 2, Revelation Series 2, Performance Series 2, and Reference Series 2. The first and most obvious changes to the line are the color. They introduced this beautiful beautiful new champagne color as standard for all of their gear. You're still able to get black and silver, but that champagne color is really, really tasteful. The second introduction and more on the performance side of things, um, they have started using these advanced switch mode power supplies for all of their products, preamps, phono stages, amplifiers. So what that means is that the power is getting to the amplifier, preamps, phono stages much more efficiently. You don't have these you know, peaks and valleys that linear power supplies have. What that means is your electronics are quieter and I think that you're gonna hear a lot better performance. Right off the bat, we noticed a huge difference in the phono stage, especially, which, you know, when we're listening to all this new gear in this incredible room, it's kind of hard sometimes to pick out exactly what you're hearing, what's different, but sometimes whenever you're listening, something just clicks, right? And when we put on, put on quite a few different albums and every time something captured us about the way that phono stage sounded. It was absolutely incredible. So the phono stage we were using was the Revelation Series 2 and it has such a naturalness to it that, you know, I think is really what a lot of people go for whenever they, you know, whenever they say, oh, I want to, I want it to feel like I'm at a live concert or feel like I'm in the studio. It's that naturalness that people are looking for. Um, and that phono stage absolutely brought it. Retail for it, Revelation Series 2 phono is $29,000. So, you know, that's a lot of money, uh, don't get me wrong. But compared to, let's say, a CH Precision or a Dart Zeal or some of the competitors like that, what is that, half the cost of some of those products? So that is definitely something to look out for. So giving you an overview of our room. For speakers, we had the Sasha Wilson Vs. Beautiful speaker, great sound. We had DCS Rossini Apex. That is a CD player, DAC, streamer. We also had the Word Clock. For spinning vinyl, we were using an EAT Fortissimo turntable um, and a JOS 8 cartridge. That cartridge is absolutely gorgeous. It's got this amazing wood finish, just wonderful. For cables, we were using transparent reference on the interconnects and speaker cables. And then we did Shinyata for power cables and conditioning. Um, one thing about Constellation is they are speaker agnostic, they're cable agnostic. You hook something good up to it and it is gonna make a good sound. That is what they think, and I, I absolutely love that. And then on the electronic side, obviously, Constellation debuted Revelation Series 2 preamp, Revelation Series 2 phono stage, Revelation Series 2 amplifier. Now, in terms of performance, I get it. I'm biased. Obviously, I'm biased. I was part of, of setting up this room, okay? But I really think that we had some of the best sound in the show, especially considering the price points that we were at compared to the price points that a lot of other companies were at. One thing that I think really was of great value to us this year is we had a pair of Sasha Wilson Vs that are, you know, 45 or 50,000. We had the Revelation Series 2 amplifier, which is 30,000. We had the Constellation Revelation Series 2 preamp, which is 25,000. Adds up to a lot of money, absolutely. But compared to the showroom that we did last year, you know, where we had the big Hercules amplifier and Wilson Alex Vs, this room was much more approachable 
And I think it led to people being a little bit more surprised, honestly, in how good the sound was compared to last year, which is really exciting. We got a lot of great feedback from, you know, some reviewers in the industry. We got a ton of great feedback from customers that came in and sat down and listened. It's really fun when, you know, you're playing something and you see somebody just nodding their head or they're smiling. Sometimes they're getting out Shazam and, you know, you can tell they're really enjoying something. That is one of the best parts of these shows. So as we move forward, I think we're gonna see a lot of good press coming from not only this show, but these new Constellation products themselves. Hopefully they will get in some reviewers' hands, so we'll see some press online, but I think we're also, you're also gonna start seeing them in uh, dealer showrooms like Big Kids Toys. Again, thank you to everyone at Constellation. Thank you to everyone that helped us out in the showroom from DCS, Transparent, Shinyata, EAT, Artisania, Audio Racks. It was an amazing show. Um, if you ever get a chance to go to Munich High End, you really need to do it. Thanks for tuning in this week. Next week, I'm gonna give you a rundown of every other showroom I saw besides the Constellation Room, so stay tuned.